Hi there, today we're going to talk about Savage Avengers from Marvel Volume 1. This is written by Jerry Duggan. Uh, this is a book that I picked up digitally because it was on cheap and it had all the characters I liked in it, um, including the villain, which is Kulan Gath from the um, Red Sonja books that I'm most familiar with him uh, from. Uh, it's also got Conan, uh, Punisher, amongst others in it. Let's have a look at the book. We'll talk more about the story and my thoughts on it, and you can have a look at the artwork, uh, and then we'll have a little wrap up at the end. So, Savage Avengers Volume 1 City of Sickles by Jerry Duggan, art by Mike Diodato Jr. This is a volume that has to get the characters together, so you get some backstory on Wolverine being attacked by ninjas, you see Stick and Electra sorting out some guy in Cairo, and then you cut to an opera singer who is taken to the savage land and sacrificed by a mysterious hooded figure at the same time in the savage land you've got conan fighting off ninjas he's been dumped there due to a previous adventure um, that i'm not familiar with so um can't comment on that but it's a good bloody fight people are getting injured and there's a moment where he throws his sword Here's a clank, and it turns out it's Wolverine with the sword wedged in his head, who has also somehow been transported to uh, the Savage Land. Uh, they have a really good bloody fight that um, is drawn excellently and choreographed excellently as well. You've just got these good moments where Wolverine's got his sword through his body, he pulls it out, gives it back to Conan, and he's like, there you go, mate. But Conan being Conan doesn't stop there. They both go down a cliff edge. I mean, to be fair, Conan's pretty resilient, considering Wolverine's got a healing factor. Um, they kind of become chums, let's say, go their separate ways and think they're never going to see each other. But obviously, they will. Uh, you've got... Oh, I can't think what's his current name. It's not um, brother. It's Doctor Voodoo. Yeah, because we we're not allowed to call him Brother Voodoo. I don't think. Um, anyway, you got Doctor Voodoo. He's um, he's looking into problems with these ninjas in Mandrapore as well. And meanwhile, Conan's scaling this tower to try and get some treasures. Uh, Voodoo is captured and he's going to be sacrificed in the same manner the opera singer was. And you find out that it's to summon a marrow god who is going to destroy the earth, etc., um, etc., et in standard Lovecraftian manner. Uh, at the same time, Wolverine comes in to save him. Um, Punisher finds his family have gone from their graves and is taken to, well, he's drawn to the Savage Land. Um, you then get your backstory for all that mysterious hooded figure. He's a Nazi fighter pilot who landed in the Savage Land during World War II. He discovered that Kulan Gath was hanging out there and became his disciple. Um, and this is where you learn that Kulan Gath is a guy kind of behind the whole plot. Now, a lot of this is fights and battles and people arguing with each other but it's all done in such a fun way i mean there's cool moments here where wolverine has to cut open voodoo's chest to expose his heart so that he can bleed onto it with his blood and massage it and hopefully bring him back to life it's just cool i mean that's just it's just cool um you also have conan um finding cool and gath and eventually the guys all end up having to team up there's this moment i don't necessarily believe that you could put a claymore on your back um <laughs> and it would it would only destroy the people that, that it says front towards enemy but this again just a cool moment um more violence <laughs> it's, just, it's a very savage book i suppose um but you get payoff in this book as they all team up um conan gets a symbiote not venom join up with him that gives him a cool symbiote sword uh, and the, the marrow god gets released and set loose on new york you have venom joining the group as they go to try and stop him um, and it's just a it's just a fun read uh, i'm going to stop there with the plot because i don't want to get to the end of the book and spoil too much for you i've really spoiled quite a bit i mean this is an action book it is a violent book 
but it's also a massively fun book to read. Uh, this is the kind of comic book I like from Marvel. If it's not the slice of life stuff, um, then this is pure escapism and fun. Uh, I would recommend getting it if you're looking for that kind of story um, and you're not too worried about the larger Marvel Universe as a whole. It's, it's almost like they've been given license to just do what they want with this and have a laugh as long as none of it sort of interferes with the Marvel Universe on a wider basis. And these are characters that otherwise might not be used. Um, obviously Elektra's been was used, I don't know if she was in the Daredevil series at that time when this came out but it doesn't matter none of that none of that has any influence on this story okay so this is a book that you can currently get for 7 99 digitally i didn't pay that for mine i got it during a avengers sale on uh, comiXology uh, i'd say shop around to see um when it's on cheap and then then strike or if it's on a buy one get one free something like that um you can get it as a trade paperback for around 9.99 new on somewhere like amazon but if you're again savvy and you have a look um either on book resellers or just on the used section on Amazon but it's not actually used it might have a publisher's return mark or something you probably get it for three to five pounds for the first volume uh, there are four volumes in the series currently I'm looking forward to getting um, all of these I uh, will read them and review them as we go uh, yeah I just love this series it was really fun really enjoyable you didn't need to have a wider understanding of the Marvel Universe per se and uh, it was just a enjoyable comic which is what I got it for escapism and fun let me know what you think about it um, if you've read it or if this is one you were thinking of getting and now you might um, after what you've just seen please feel free to like and subscribe it does help and thanks for watching